This is what we're working with. This is a more accurate portrayal of what we're working with. And then here's here's the length we're getting to. It's like on our way to boob length. Need like four to five more inches, especially since it's wavy. So probably closer to like six or seven inches. But we'll get there soon. Um, and then on the sides, we're working with like, I don't think I'm gonna cut these. I think they're fine. On the sides, we got like, like an inch, inch and a half, inch and a quarter, over an inch, not by much, but by a substantial margin. I have this, it's not for hair on your head, or hair on your vagina, um, but it's what I have, <laughs> and then I have these absolutely tiny little craft scissors for like sewing and crochet, like cutting thread, and like tiny little pieces of fabric. Not for hair cutting, but we'll make do. And then of course, the true and true, the comb that you all, you all know and love, this fucking thing that I've had since I was literally 12 years old, in the depths of my emo phase. Wish I could put a picture on screen for you. Maybe I will be able to find one. And then we have one singular hair elastic. And uh, also this that I just remembered was on the counter. It's one of these little itty bitty ones. So, and then, and then I'm just gonna give myself bangs. I'm gonna section off my, oh my god, I'm blind, I can't see. Throwing it back to the emo phase just for a second. This is actually the way that my bangs were when I was in my, my emo phase. They were they were on this side. Can I find my part line still? There it is. Like this. Do you know I have the gap in the fringe? It looks I am uncomfortable with how much my face has not changed. It's, all that's happened is it's not as round anymore. Most of that isn't even aging, that's like, malnutrition. <laughs> I have that fucking System of the Down song stuck in my head. I've had it stuck in my head all day, to be honest. It's the one with the tapeworm. Don't remember what it's actually called. It's just because the vet, when I took my cat to the vet, was like, if... He has like eaten mice or chipmunks or anything. Just check his poop for signs of tapeworms. Um, and I think he's fine. He does catch mice and chipmunks. Uh, I've only ever seen him uh, eat chipmunks though. And on rare occasions only. Most of what he catches are mice and he does not eat them. He just kind of sucks on it. <laughs> that trend on TikTok of people doing like the cat lore videos is so interesting to me. Because, I mean, so much of the lore is obviously like silly stuff, but when you have a cat that actually has like lore, you're like, do I post about this? Or are people going to call me like complicit in animal abuse or something? It's like, yeah, my cat was not living in the best conditions when I was younger, but I couldn't really do anything about it because I was a child <laughs> with no money and no say in what the adults around me were doing. Much to my dismay, I would have loved on several occasions to take him to bed, but we can't always have what we want. My dad was telling me to look for a little tapeworm casing so it looked like little white grains of rice and they might move and wiggle. And I was like, no, I haven't seen any of that. <laughs> also, I did find a mouse. 
it was just soggy and dead. <laughs> I only found one though. Ouch. <sighs> my hair is like in that weird state of being half soggy, half dry, and so when I run my fingers through it, it is, or the comb, it's just the worst. Come on, we can do it. <laughs> get a very good um, square corner on my side shaves, but honestly, at this point, I will just take having my size, sides shaved because it's very warm and they make me very sweaty. <laughs> I did not realize once you get used to having like your sides shaved, how much you notice when they're not super short. You're like, oh, that's like Thick. All right, let's give it. This should like maybe be out of my face. I don't have a hair clip, so that's what we're gonna do. <laughs> okay. If it works, I'm gonna get this and do it this way. Um, Cause I would like to be able to see. It's not sectioned cleanly at all. The battery in this is dying. Will it cut my hair? Not well, but yes. I shouldn't do this on the bathroom. Do we have new batteries? Because this needs one so badly. Hold on, I'm gonna see if I can find a new battery. Alright, so let's just, I got some new batteries. Just take a little listen. supposed to sound like that. That's what it's supposed to sound like. Alright, let's get my ball ball.
surprisingly, doesn't even look that terrible. Let me clean that up with my little skeezers. relaxing it right now. I'm relaxing my face. To gather it up. There we go. And squinch it together. Squinch it. Make sure I'm not making a weird facial expression. And cut it like middle of my nose length. But what I do then is I just put it where I want it to be. Grab a little chunk out of the middle. This probably should be even, but I don't really give a shit about that. We, we know this. I'm gonna just take it like, come here, so I can see the side of it. like it has pubes. Anyway, welcome back. <laughs> this is my completely uneducated, dumb person tutorial on uh, hair is wavy. What do you do about it? <laughs> Make sure it's soggy. Just absolutely soggy. Sogged up. Once again, this is for dumb, stupid people. Like me. You're also dumb and stupid. Congratulations, this tutorial's for you. Here's 
you're dumb, stupid, and poor, guess what? Best friends now. <laughs> now once you've put it in some kind of organization, get something to this effect. Put just probably what is too much of it in your stupid little hands. Just get it all up in there. Wanna be nice and yucky. Feels feels gross and bad. That's what you want, and then just start start getting it in there. Get it everywhere. Just get it all over. Do some of this too. Because it's going to be on your palms and you're not going to know how to get it off your palms and it's going to feel bad. And when you see your hands are gross and yucky, you're just going to organize it again, just a little bit. And just squish it. You want it to be squelchy. I should have my lav mic so I can really get a get you a good good quality squelch. When your hair starts doing stuff. And then when you've had enough of the squelching, then take your towel and you're gonna squelch it some more than in the towel this time. You're gonna take the fucking hair off your hands though because it's really starting to make me upset. I don't like it. <laughs> Get it off of me, please. It's a little squelchy. It's kind of squeaky for some reason. There are 
shapes. Bless you. Shapes in the shapes in the hair. I missed like the whole back, bottom, middle of my hair, but it's, it's the shape that it is. I hate that I did not actually get that on camera. I thought I was recording, but I wasn't. What on earth? You're strange. This is my other tip. This is not for you. It's hair oil and it is slimy. Dog is back again. It's a day later. I am back again putting slime in my hair because it's frizzy and this is my it it is not funny you just want to get it in there i probably put too much on my hands i slept on it and it did a weird thing which it does sometimes sometimes you sleep on it and it just flops it's still way more hey trying to eat, but every time he moves, she gets so excited. <laughs> That's really just what it is. He does not like the excitement because he is a cat. Um, I mean, some cats do, or they'll tolerate it. Um, he doesn't. He doesn't like it at all. I'm rub it into my shaved sides because they feel prickly. What? Is he sniffing where you were? And it just makes my hair less like a wire brush, you know? Or like the, <laughs> the, the sticky strip of Velcro. Hey, you sit, you sit. Good girl. He's being brave and being bold and he's standing there and he's licking his paw directly in front of her. Look at this little dweeb. You go for a walk? You go for a walk? Yeah? You go for a walk? <laughs> Come on!